All right, fellas, got a, another blast from the past here. Um, I've had these sitting around for a while, and then um, I got a call. Somebody wanted to know the specs on these, get the um, uh, Theo Small parameters. And so they said, hey, is there a, a manual in that box? And I said, I don't know. I haven't opened them up. So somebody was looking for the uh, specs um, on the on the 15. Um, but uh, this is a 12. But um, I opened it up, and it turns out there is no manual with these. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and take a peek at these uh, since I did open it up finally. Um, this is a Hyphonics Olympian Warrior 12-inch uh, sub and uh, made in the USA. This is probably the very last of the made in the USA Hyphonics. Um, but anyway, let's crack this bad boy open. You'll notice uh, purple is a theme on this. <laughs> But yeah, I opened it up and I, I look and all that came with it is uh, this, um, it's a warranty card. And so this has API all over it. So I don't know, is that a company that bought Hyphonics? Um, no, I'm, I'm just not sure. Um, is it saying Hyphonics, a division of um, Audioprox uh, Incorporated? Um, there we go, North Chicago. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know too much about these, really. I know a lot of people in my area were running these because they were dirt cheap. Um, I want to say maybe 75 bucks a sub, but um, anyway, I'll pull this out. Um, one thing I did notice this one, I mean, this has been these are probably from around. 98 99 somewhere in there maybe as early as 96 um i did i do know that there was two different um styles but one thing i noticed look at this the almost like no glue and it's totally come undone on the uh the gaskets so that's unfortunate maybe i can just re-glue them um but uh anyway Kind of, kind of different looking because they got this big old flat um, dust cap on them, and then this is just a sticker. So they were going real budget on these. Um, I know that I want to say they were Olympian too, but before this, they had it screen printed on a flat dust cap like this, and it was like orange graphics. It said Hyphonics and whatever Olympian. Um, but uh, these are these are a little bit later. But yeah, this is just a sticker on a flat dust cap, um, and then rubber purple surround um, paper cone, and then this gasket is kind of like the JL gasket where it's like a fake leather type deal. Um, let's take a peek. What I got here spade terminals because, like I said, this is a real budget sub. Um, these ones, there's a, just a slight sag. So maybe if I, because it should be sitting right out there, but it's sitting a little bit lower. But uh, I don't know. I bet if I put them upside down for a while, they probably could probably come back. Um, and then uh, you got the stamp steel basket. And then just a sticker. So anyway, uh, sorry, I could somehow quit filming. But uh, so you got the sticker around the magnet. It's a single slug. Um looks like you got a top plate and a bottom plate probably looks like they're exact same size um diameter and uh thickness and then on the back here take a peek it's vented vented pole um and then it's the 124 because it's a four ohm and you get the made in the usa it says 300 watts uh that's probably going to be more uh peak than uh, rms um but yeah pretty straightforward subs um the the one thing that is um pretty sweet is uh the the rubber surround um because generally you would you would see that on like more expensive like you know cast basket subs or whatever um but uh yeah i mean it's it's uh looks to be in still good shape um because rubber generally lasts uh, quite a bit longer than the foam. But, um, yeah, but these, these gaskets just coming right off. 
Um, just back in the day, I knew a ton of people who had these and ran them. They, they're actually really good sounding subs. Um, you know, I mean, they're not the loudest, but they sound good. Um, I just knew, I knew a ton of people who had these because you could get a ton of them for, you know, you'll go get four of them for, you know, like the same price as like a pair of kicker comps or something. So they were real budget, real cheap, um, pound on them. I didn't know too many guys that had them blow on them. So I think they were made pretty decent. Um, I don't know if I knew too many people who had these with the sticker on it. Mostly I remember them being like an orange and purple screen print on the flat dust cap, but they look just like this with the purple rubber purple surround. Um, but yeah, it was just screen printed instead of having this logo, um, on a sticker on the dust cap. But anyway, uh, just a quick one. Um, that's it. Thanks. Something real quick I wanted to add is there is on the side here. Um, it just kind of gives a brief description of them. Um, but it says that, let's see, I'll read it cause it's hard to read. Um, the, it's, this box faded quite a bit. It says the Olympian warrior woofers are prepared to go the distance design for high power handling low base response perfect for extremely small sealed boxes or band pass applications with four layer capped on voice coils this woofer is designed for maximum versatility our rigid non-transfer treated paper cones and rubber surrounds stay strong and excel under heavy duty situations. Our stiff spider keeps the high phonics voice coil under control and producing tight, accurate bass, made in the USA. And then it right here it just says 12 inch speaker, 50 ounce magnet, two inch single voice coil, four ohms um, or eight ohms and both 300 watts. Um, so that's as much information as I have. So it sounds like they want a small sealed enclosure. Um, I do remember, so one of the guys I knew that had these, he had nine tens in a single box, so three rows of three in the back of a Tahoe, and he had, it was either an XS50 or a ZR600 hooked up to him, and that system pounded um, for back in the day, <laughs> It was, but it was pretty loud. I believe his were the ones, though, where the, the dust cap had the orange and purple uh screen print on it but anyway so yeah i mean i knew i don't know another buddy of mine had his and like a, he had a pair of them in a grand prix another guy who had a couple in really small sealed boxes in a i think it was an extended s10 um so you know for like small spaces or whatever i guess they were they were all right but they, I, I think mostly they just chose them because they were super cheap so anyway that's all i know about these things and I don't know if anybody has uh, parameters on these. That would be sweet if you could uh, shoot them down in the comments. Because uh, my buddy Keith is looking for those for a friend of his. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.